Alright, now we're approaching Shade Man stage. And, uh, this stage is very unique, actually. It has a fun Easter egg. Uh, if you, if you select, I believe, the X, uh, if you hold down the X button, I believe, uh, it actually plays the Ghost and Goblins theme. Uh, it's a, re uh, instead of, you know, Shade Man's actual, uh, stage. I mean, that's a fun, uh, that's a fun Easter egg for this stage. You know, like, if you want to listen to the Ghost and Goblins theme, you know, like, uh, I mean, it's unique. I mean, a lot of people, you know, probably hate the game, you know, because it's very, uh, you know, very difficult, but, you know, you know, this is probably the one time you can listen to it without, you know, you know, ripping your hair out because you can barely make it to the first stage of Super Ghost and Ghost, but, oh well. It's a fun theme, but, uh, I decided to just stay with Shade Man's theme, you know, just keep it original. It's a fun Easter egg you should check out if you ever get the chance to, uh, play this game. And, yeah, this... It's basically a, a castle theme, and we have our our sub boss or mini boss. There's actually two paths uh, this sub boss could actually uh, lead you to. If you shoot the eyes, it'll actually lead you towards another path, and if you shoot the body or the inside, it'll take you to a lower path. And like I said about the whole Proto Man thing, uh, this is where you actually fight Proto Man in this stage. If you ran into him in the the other two stages prior to Shade Man to fight him for his uh, worthless proto shield spoiler that's the weapon you get it's very it's worthless in my opinion and the fight can be kind of uh, tedious because it doesn't have a health bar and the fight can be and uh, not too challenging it's not as piss easy as it was in Mega Man 3 but you know just in case you want to be curious uh, yeah, you just want to. Uh, if you want to get to Proto Man, that's the path you gotta take. And the boss is dead. That's good. I hate this mini boss so much because uh, those green pellets actually do a good damage, good amount of damage on you. And yeah, yeah, it's actually right behind that shield, Joe, right there. Uh, that's that wall right there. Actually leads into a room where Proto Man is, but it only leads there if you ran into Proto Man in a uh, in a Cloud Man stage and a. Uh, Turbo Man stage. That's where you meet up Proto Man, to, you know, just to run into him, and then in that one, that's where you fight him for his worthless Proto Shield, which does nothing in this game. And now we got this area right here. Uh, use Thunderbolt to uh, at least, you know, see where you're going because it's dark here. Uh, they expect you to use Scorch Wheel from Turbo Man. Uh, that's Turbo Man's weapon, but we don't have it, so. Just use Thunderbolt to make a nice, you know, to at least give yourself a split second of, of light where you're going. And now we got the elevator section. Uh, and if you took that other pathway uh, with the mini, with the sub boss, uh, you actually skip this elevator sequence and you take a different pathway. It's a little bit faster. And then if you have Rush Search, it actually leads to the energy uh, balancer. But I'd rather just buy the upgrade rather than just doing it that way. And I got hit right there. Oh well. Yeah, so the robot zombies. Like, why? Why would you want robot zombies? Like, would, wouldn't you want robots to be at 100%? Ah, uh, whatever. And there's base. Apparently try to fight Shade Man and he got defeated easily. Maybe he should give up. Nah, he shouldn't give up. Just go to Dr. Light, he'll fix you up for free. What could possibly go wrong? And now we're at the boss, which is Shade Man. And the Wild Coil, you could actually charge it. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, this power-up is needed to beat the final boss. Uh, the Wild Coil, uh, when it's charged, does more damage. And to make the Wild Coil bounce even higher, you hold up on the D-pad. Uh, so yeah, Shade Man shouldn't be too much of a problem with these Wild Coil. Uh, I do like this power-up, it's really cool. And Shade Man is defeated. Awesome. And just practicing, you know, my charge Wild Coil shots because the final boss is really difficult. And we'll get to that part eventually. Until then... <laughs>
right, now we're approaching Turbo Man stage. Yes, this is the final stage of the game. Yeah, this uh this uh this level could be uh it could be fun. And you have this uh this uh I think it's a uh, Bullet Joe or Shield Joe driving this thing. Easy to take down with Junk Shield. Uh, those spikes are not instant death. All right. And we got this weird gimmick. Yeah, these cone enemies are very annoying. Use Danger Wrap to get rid of them. Uh, so yeah, the gimmick here is basically uh, we gotta get through these. Uh, we gotta do some fancy platforming, and we got these tires right here, which will push us backwards. Uh, there are pits right here. They're not. There are pits right there, but they're not instant death. And we have spikes right there, which are instant death. So you gotta be careful with your platforming right here. Uh, I think uh, I would recommend using Super Adapter uh, just to traverse some platforming, just so you have that extra jump right there. And you have those tires right there, and right there, and that hole actually leads you to the bottom of the level, and you would have to do this over again. So it's not like a, a pit that leads to death. Nah, no, it's just a pit where you have to backtrack. It's annoying, but just use Super Adapter here. And yeah, just get across easily. Get these tire enemies. Easy to take down with Junk Shield. Awesome. And now let's get the Super Adapter ready because we're approaching uh, uh, the power up for the Super Adapter, the uh, homing rocket punch. Uh, it should be right here. Let's just wait for this enemy to get out of our way. You gotta, you gotta like these enemies, like, like these enemies try at least, like you say, you know what, I lost my tires, you know what, I'm still gonna attack anyways, what a trooper. And you use Rush Search here, and here's where you get the homing rocket punch. I mean, it's fun getting it for free, I mean, it beats paying 800 bolts. So now that we got the homing rocket punch, you know, we get a... Uh, uh, right, uh, right there in that uh, narrow area, that's where you run into Proto Man, and right here is where you find the the big bolt, which gives you 100 bolts. But at this point, I already have all the upgrades I need. It's kind of pointless, but I want to show it off anyways. All right, and now we got this area right here. That fire is not instant death. You can actually use Freeze Cracker to freeze that fire to at least give yourself some kind of head start the way you want to go. And I got hit three times, four times. And now we got this sliding area again. Totally not ripping off Quick Man. And those laser, I mean, not those uh, fire things are instant death. But they do move slower. Uh, so that's good, I guess. And now we're on a truck trailer. Really cool. Nice side scrolling right here. And another sub boss. Easily just shoot the eye with the uh, Thunderbolt, take it out easily. Uh, try not to get hit right here. And I am really low on health here. Yeah, we're basically at the stretch mark right here. And I'm just going to use an energy tank because why not? We're heading to Auto's Lab anyways. I mean, Auto's Shop, so why not? Yes, yeah, so just use Junk Shield here, take care of these enemies here, and we're already at the boss. Uh, Turbo Man can be really annoying to fight him without his weakness, which is a Shade Man's weapon, which if you shoot it at a wall, it actually uh, does double damage. And Turbo Man is basically a Transformer. Yeah, this boss is easy, just shoot, and it goes down easily. Yeah. But like I said, I mean, most people want to take on Turbo Man as their fifth robot master, uh, the first robot master in the second half, just to, you know, reduce backtracking. But, you know, this is the way I like to play it, so why not? And that's it, that's all eight robot masters. Cool.